Let's keep it moving, people. Next question. Why do you think you had so much success finding your teammates tonight? That's just basketball, man. You dribble, you pass, you shoot, you rebound, play defense. You there. Next question. You may have won, but you dominated the ball to an alarming degree. How can you keep your teammates happy if you're preventing them from getting their numbers? Man, I can't be worried about my teammates' numbers out there. Shoot, I'm out there trying to get mine in the midst of the battle. Hey, if you can't swim, you bound to drizz down. Ah, uh, you, sir. Now, obviously, this is your first outing with the team. Did you feel you were frozen out at all by your new teammates? Why the heck would I be frozen out? Well, you, know, you do have a reputation for being a real chemistry killer, asking for a new team whenever it suits you. Comment? Hey, man, why are you trying to bring rain on this beautiful day we have? <laughs> I'm not trying to rain on anything, man. But you do seem to have a cloud following you here. You name one teammate that doesn't want me out there. Look, I'm not saying I know any specifics. I'm just trying... You don't know anything. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just trying to create some controversy, trying to generate some headlines. Well, you know what? I'm not about to help you get any more followers or any more clicks. Go ahead and write that down. Try to play somebody else for the fool. I'm so tired of y'all. All right, thanks, everybody. Look, we are going to have a problem if you fly off the handle with the media at the smallest provocation. Look here, I'm here to ball, not to cater to these media dudes. No, those media dudes craft the narratives that help sell this organization's brand, a brand that I'm responsible for guarding. I don't care about no brand. Really? You don't care? No. How about jersey sales? Care about those? Maybe. Really? Well, play the game correctly, and your jersey sales will soar. See how that works? We understand each other? I understand what you're saying. Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K15 My Career Game. Kobe Bryant attacking the room with ease out here and I may have been a little bit Kobe-ish in my press conference just now. I mean, usually don't see Denny Tice that feisty, but maybe that feistiness is what I need when I'm playing in Brooklyn. This is the big apple we're playing in right now. This is no joke. This is the biggest media market out there. One of the highest pressure teams to play with. You know, you got the Lakers, you got the Celtics, you got the Knicks, and then the Nets, you know. The media is ruthless, all right? The media is ruthless in New York, so you gotta have thick skin. Kobe's obviously got thick skin. That's why he's here for whatever reason on the Nets as D-Wade forces a turnover there and Lou all Dane's gonna put up a mid-range jumper and get it to go so i'm um, taking a little bit of lessons from kobe bryant maybe you know kobe even though i, I, I won back-to-back -back championships i got a lot to learn from the black mamba as you see for whatever reason we pull up this deep three but we get it to go anyways i don't know possess me to even take it but we made it so that's all cool so i've really been scoring too much points early on but that's because kobe bryant came out the game locked and loaded kobe with a deep two right there getting it to go shabazz napier that's gonna be a three and that's gonna rattle home and shabazz napier all of a sudden has 20 points i kind of didn't receive Spec Napier at the start of the game, so a few times I would leave him open, but uh, there's a couple times where like I would play good defense in Napier, and all of a sudden I'm like, wait, wait, that's my guy that has 20 of the 37 points. What is this? And you see Chris Bosch getting the bucket to go. Unfortunately, that's like one of the biggest knocks, maybe the biggest knock on Brook Lopez is D-Way with the post fade right there, is that Brook Lopez does not grab defensive rebounds well, as we get a block on D-Way right there, but did he get the rebound? Once again, we just can't grab these boards, whether it's off a block or whatever, but Kobe locks up Napier and Tice with the last second can help the two blocks and one possession for Tice, preserving the five-point deficit for us until I go to the bench and all of a sudden it's a 14-point deficit. So I'm mean, pretty much a 10-point swing when we go on the bench. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Not cool, Joe Johnson. Missing an open bucket. That's cool. We can use that. We need buckets like that to get back into the game. And Shabazz Napier fading. I think he's feeling himself a little bit too much. And I'm definitely feeling Kobe Bryant. D. Wade did everything he could there to stop Kobe. But you don't stop Kobe because better offense beats better defense on any given day. As Brooklyn Lopez, he's kind of Dwight-ish. Brooklyn Lopez. And the games, I, well, the two games I played with him so far, two things. Kobe Bryant's a beast, all right? Let's just get that out there. He's probably been maybe my favorite teammate so far in just two games. Kobe might just be my favorite teammate in 2K. As you guys see, um, I don't know, they just double team me and leave Brooke Lopez wide open. Brooke can make that, but Brooke's a little bit Dwight Howard-esque when I say that he can't, you know, make the shots you expect him to make in the paint. Like, if he gets a little bit of contact, he's pretty soft. 
That's the term I'm looking for. He's pretty soft. If he gets a little bit of contact, he doesn't make it. You see, one of the Pumley brothers take a bad shot, but Denny Tice finishing out there. You see, end of the shot clock. Denny Tice pump faking and knocking down a perfect release. Trying to do anything I can to keep my team in this game, but all of a sudden, the deficit has ballooned to 16 points, and I'm not really helping out, actually, because I just got called for a traveling violation. Then we try to put on a full court press. Brandon Jennings lets Shabazz Napier blow by him, and now all of a sudden, the lead is even higher. And once again, I'm not helping out. I'm missing all open shots out here and as you guys see we're getting a defensive rebound we gotta do anything we can so i'm gonna find d will this is a d will siding out here darren williams all the way to the rim getting it to go we didn't see d will in that first game with the um hornets and this is the second game i played with this team i think i did some a few games but this is the second no um the second actual game i played with the nets as you guys see for whatever reason once again pulling up from the same spot and getting it to go again that time a perfect release we only got 21 points but we're definitely gonna have to step up the scoring low and of course find open teammates when they triple team me and we're gonna get back into this game we were down 21 points all right so it's gonna take a lot kobe Bryant open for three that'll definitely help because the black mamba will always knock that down look at kobe 25 points in the game he is playing just great as that could have been a flagrant foul easily mcroberts just like shouldered me onto the deck out there i don't know what the hell possessed them to do that as you guys see kobe Bryant open after the steal and kobe slams it home with two hands and the lead is down to 11 starting to feel it a little bit starting to feel the comeback vibes starting to get the crowd awake they were sleeping just now we got them back awake so that's all good as denny tice takes it all the way to the rim so you know, I'm definitely locked into this game. I want to win it. I have not given up on this game yet. I'm trying to drive to the rim again, but we find Joe Johnson wide open, and Joe can't get it to go. Unfortunately, time is not on our side, and we want to make this comeback as we get the steal here. I'm looking at, of course, at Kobe. Who else but Kobe? Kobe's getting open on these transition buckets, and it's a nine-point game. Game's not over just yet, but Lou Wall, dang, in the corner. That might have been the dagger lead back up to 12, and Joe Johnson is not helping out the cause. But, you know, it is good to get into these kind of games, get down, and know who to rely on. I realize that I cannot rely on Joe Johnson, but I definitely can rely on Kobe Bryant as we get the steal and take it all the way to the rim, making it a 10-point game. But look at D-Wade, pump faking, just absolutely schools Kobe. And he could have been an and one too. Look at D-Wade looking for a call as Denny Tice, just desperation heave. Just trying to do anything I can to make this game somewhat relevant. And thankfully, we do knock down that three-pointer as D-Wade goes out of bounds and... Game's not over just yet. I don't give up until the final buzzer, all right? So I'm going to kick it to Joe Johnson. This man has to make a bucket sometime, and he does. Joe Johnson makes it a six-point game, and Chris Bosh, wild shot attempt there. That's not going to go, and now we get a three. We're going to make it a one-possession game as I'm driving. I'm kicking the Black Mamba wide open for three. Bang! Kobe Bryant delivering in the clutch. Three-point game. The lead was 21 for the Heat at the end of the third quarter as Lou Wall, dang, rattles it in and out. And now we have a chance to tie the game with 40 seconds left. Shot clock winding down. Denny Tice looking for anyone. Stokes in the paint, absorbing the contact and getting it to go. It's a one-point game with 35 seconds left. Heat trying to cling to a one-point lead. Try not to blow this one away. They need a bucket badly, but Chris Bosh turns it over. Denny Tice with the help defense forces the steal on the break, kicking it to Kobe Bryant and Kobe gives us the lead. 17 seconds left. We erase a 21-point deficit, and you know Kobe wants to take that shot. Now we got to lock up on defense, and we're going to force a steal. But they get it back. Shabazz Napier tracks down the ball, and now the ball in the hands of D-Wade. 10 seconds left. Down one. Wade chewing the clock up. He's looking to go for the win. D-Wade versus Kobe for the win. Wade trying to put the moves on Kobe in his face. Wade, bang! Can't hit it at the buzzer. Wade versus Kobe. Give the win to Kobe Bryant. He knocks down the shot to give his team the lead. And then he locks up D-Wade. And that was all. I mean, I made my plays, but man, the Black Mamba came through. So leave a like on the field if you enjoyed. Just the clutchness of Kobe Bryant, man. That's just legendary what Kobe did tonight. So leave a like on the field for that. Subscribe for more NBA 2K15 micro games. And I'll catch you guys next time. And um, yeah, Kobe is the man.